what's going on at one tone up here so I need to build some of these um, bottom board for my beehives and um, I'm just going to build them with scrap wood and I'm using 2x4s and what I do is like um, lengthwise uh, they'll be like 24 inches and wideness is uh, you know the size of the bee box or whatever bee box you have so I'm going to take the 2x4 and cut it in half these uh, 2x4 uh, boards are going to be used for the left side and right side to form the frame and for the front and back I'm going to find some scrap boards I'll cut them in uh, 16 and a quarter and that's the width of my boxes You can assemble these boards together and make a solid bum board. But I'm gonna make mine with the mesh netting on the bottom, so this way to allow some airflow and also uh, if the bees clean up the hives, the sub will fall right through the uh, mesh, along with like um, small larvae, um, rail mites, and high beetles. These are pallet woods I'm cutting, and these strips will form the upper part of the frame where the um, box will sit on top. I'm cutting this board into uh, two sections. The uh, wider part will be the landing strip for the uh, bottom board. I'm just reusing the uh, old piece right here. This is a 1 8 um, inch metal cloth and the width is uh, 16 and a quarter and the length, it could be any length. Mine is almost uh, probably about 17, 18 inches in length. And the remainder gonna be the, uh, the landing strip I'm gonna put the other side to allow the bee to uh, land on. Let's go ahead and put it together so you know what it looks like when it's done. Then after this right here, I'll make um, half a dozen more. Uh, I kept my design simple. You can find a lot of uh, designs on the internet. Uh, the one I built previously, um, I put another board on the bottom. And uh, what I did is I, I put a, a tray inside the, uh, the bottom board um, this, and filled with oil. So anytime uh, anything falls down there, like for example, uh, you know, you got uh, rural mites or high beetle, this is drowned in the oil, but I kept mine open this time. I went ahead and pre-drilled some holes to prevent from cracking when I put the screws down.
So this is what it looked like when it's all completed. I'm gonna leave some area, like for example, the uh, the landing strip. I'm uh, I'm not gonna paint the area. I probably gonna paint the size only. Um, one thing I know, if I paint the landing strip, when it rains, the water just stay on top of the board and cause the beach to get stuck there. So if I leave it bare wood. Uh, the moisture or the water will drain into it was absorbed into the wood. Hopefully having a dry landing strip, you know, this will prevent the bee from drowning in, in the uh, puddle of water and this way I have less bee dying in front of the entrance. And uh, another thing I want to do during the raining season, I want to put a piece of 2 by 4 in front of the hive. This will help, you know, eliminate some of the uh, water um, in front of the hive area and give them a dry surface to land on. So instead of going to the store and buy your own bottom board, if you have time, you know, just uh, build your own. You can get creative and design different style. So I hope this video helped you uh, in building a bottom board. Um, you know, don't be afraid to tackle it. It's not that hard. So if you, uh, f you know, enjoy this video, go and click the like, and please subscribe to my video. And I will continue um, creating more videos to share with you.